Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Packabuncher and welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm going to be bringing you guys my ultimate map guide for the newest Infinite Warfare Zombies map, Zombies in Spaceland. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know about this map, whether it comes to how to build the power, how do we access Packabunch, where all the perks are on the map, where all the wall weapon locations are on the map, and essentially just a full map walkthrough of the entire map of Zombies in Spaceland. So guys, drop a like in the video before we begin, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, what's up guys? So we are currently just spawned into Zombies in Space and the spawn room right here. This is it. You're going to spawn in that location right there, somewhere right there. And, um, you know, we're going to go straight into this and just talk about everything there is on the maps. Without further ado, let's begin. So right here, we have our Quick Revive slash Solo Revive, 500 on Solo, 1500 Co-op. Basically on Solo, it lets you, you, know, you come back alive, um, you know, Co-op. It just helps you revive your teammates faster. We got a 500 point Hellstorm gun right there. We have an M1 cost 500 points as well right there and the loss and found system right here so essentially if you bleed out all the way so not just go down but lead bleed out all the way you lose your guns when you come back but you can come back to the loss and found and pay 2,000 to get your guns back which is pretty cool i gotta admit that and the next thing guys is very very important and um this is it right here this is the power you need to activate this in order to get the spawn so all you gotta do is just hold x on that and what it will do it'll open or i guess put these things down these barriers are here and you can't leave the spawn room until you do that so guys do not forget to activate that first power switch right there and after you do that you can spend you know 750 points and get past this barrier and as such you guys this map it's pretty big, I gotta admit that, but the layout is pretty easy to handle. You know, you got the spawn room right there, this middle area right here, and you got three outside lanes. You got you got the first one, Journey into Space, then you got um, Polar Peak over there, and then the Kepler system, and that's pretty much it. You know, it's, it's pretty evenly divided, and this spawn room, like I said, it's over there. And we're going to jump into this middle space right now. Um, we have the Banshee wall by right now. It's a shotgun. It's all right. I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. And over here, we have the ATM system. This is the first time an ATM system's ever been in incorporated into a zombies game. So essentially, all you got to do is put it in a thousand points there, and anyone in your game can pick up the 1,000 points over here. So it's pretty cool, really convenient for co-op games. So definitely go ahead and use that. Right here, that's pack Winch, boys. I'm going to teach you how to get pack Winch later on, but you know that's the location for it. It's right there. Um, we're going to go over here. So this thing right here is uh, refill your cards. I honestly, I played this game like 25 times and never have refilled my card. So, I mean, I don't know. If you want to do it, it's right there for 5,000 points. I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, it is what it is. And over here, we have the Oni. This is a great pistol. I almost get this every single game. 750 points. Highly recommend it. Fully automatic. Great for points. And, um, yeah, so the souvenir system right here. This is very very skeptical to talk about because these things are everywhere on the map and essentially what they do is the zombies after you kill them a lot they will drop sometimes souvenir coins i have one right next to my points it is a blue and yellow thing you can see it next to my 11 702 right now you see that blue little icon what you can do you can go up to these things and you put in your coins so you put in your coins and once you have three right now i have uh, three so you get something out of it so every three you can get something out of it so i just got kindle pops i don't know what that is but the point is though you can get random things so basically you're gonna get these things and you put them in these souvenir things so with that out of the way guys we're going to make our first, I guess, um, excursion to Journey into Space. So this is where Juggernaut is, so you guys are going to want to remember this. So first place into Journey into Space, we have an E-Rad wall by right here. I have the E-Rad right now. It's pretty sick. Pack Munch 2. we got a trap right there. No one really cares about though, that, uh, honestly. Right here, we have Mule Kick, a.k.a. Mule Munch. It's for 2,000 points. Great perk if you want a third gun. David Hasselhoff just chilling here, of course. Over here, this is how you get pack much, guys. So there's four portals across the map. You're going to have to ac activate each portal and go through it. In order to activate the portal, you have to have the, the power in each location first. So I'll show you guys power in a minute. But once you have power on, you just, you know, activate the portal and uh, wait for it to, you know, spawn in. And then go through it, and it'll take you back to spawn. And you got to do that once for each portal. So that's the first one. And we also have a wall by right here for the Volk. And um, we have the, another refill card system over there. Like I said, really u useless. And this is Juggernaut, guys, a.k.a. Tough Enough. I don't really like this spot. It kind of suck, does kind of suck because you buy it. You're kind of quartered in this, you know, trap over here. But it's all good, boys. It's all good. We have a trap right here. Would not recommend using it. Someone just joined my party. What the heck? But for the, um, we got a trap right there. Not really good at all. And this is the second power location, guys. Right here. Power is right there. Um, this will basically do everything in this area. You'll be able to buy jug. You know, get your portal done. And yeah, moving on to this, this horrible place right here. I hate this, man. This is my re least favorite room. Just, just stay out of it, guys. If you want to just survive, don't, don't go in this room. It's the bumper cars room. I've died so many times here because it's just so annoying. They come out of everywhere. Just don't even go in there, guys. That's the bumper car room. We have a vector wall by AK, the Karma 44, 45 right there. Um, this is a little kind of boring place over here. All there is is a mystery box location, AK, mystery wheel, and then some ticket boost here, which really don't matter too much. Just, you know, grenades. Um, so this, you know, area is kind of pointless. That also connects to the, you know, the, um... I can't even think of the name right now. The bumper car area, so you can go that way out of there or right here. I'm going to choose this way. 
and here's another one of your souvenir stations like i said to put the coins in down here we have electric cherry aka blue bolts and there's a door down there i'll show you guys that later but um, we're going to go inside the arcade right now. So this is the arcade entering right now. The arcade is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, using your tickets, you can buy like ammo here and you know buy Wonder Weapons, which is pretty cool. Um, in this room, if you want to get tickets, sometimes you, you want to get tickets whether to, I guess, get a Wonder Weapon or just do different tasks across the map. You can play these games. It's very risky on solo due to the fact that you know the zombies can still hit you. Like right here, I can just grab a basketball and be like, Kobe. Yeah, that's right, boys. And then and then you get hit. So it's like, yeah. But um, in here, it's um, you know, it's pretty hectic. You got all these things here. You got a trap right here. It's pretty good, like the dance floor one. But what's really important here is the third power. And this is right here. You're gonna want to activate this bad boy, turn it on. I already have it on. And then your second portal will be right here. So the portal thing, you just gotta, you know, do this. Activate portal, wait a couple seconds and go through the portal. That'll be your second portal, take you back to spawn. And um, that's your second way to uh, pack a bunch. We got a what's it called? An NV4 wall by right there as well. And um, yeah. That takes you to another place in the map. Um, here's the perk Trailblazers, guys. So Trailblazers, essentially, it's the if you if you know what um, Banana Colada is, it, it was a perk that everyone wanted. This is Banana Colada in Infinite Warfare Zombies. And let me save you some time now, guys. It sucks. Don't even try about buying it. It's just not worth it. 1,500 points, but it's right there. But um, over here, it's 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 pretty nice. All you got is a ticket booth, and you're gonna wrap around over here. And this is the entrance of where we began our journey into uh, you know um, what is this called zombies. No, no, journey into space. So this is where we started, guys. You know, we have our uh, our gun wall by right there, and it's basically just a giant circle with the arcade. And um, that's our first area um complete, I guess, going through journey into space. Now moving on to the second area, we have Polar Peak. And actually, before I enter this, I just want to say, guys, don't even go over here. It's a death trap. Uh, you can't go up these slides, unfortunately. You can just get pushed back down. But uh, you know, just don't even go over there. Save, save, save some life. But over here is Polar Peak. You got another one of these ticket booths. Like I said, if you want to buy grenades, go ahead. Um, but this is. Polar Peak. So we're gonna go inside this. This is probably the coolest area on the map. It's I like the you know design of it. It's, it's, it's like there's a roller coaster here, which is pretty awesome, and um everything over here is just just great. So really uneventful until you get to up here. We have a um I think it's called an RP RP yeah RPR Evo wall by right there. So you can buy that. Another one of those ticket booth type things. Um, another one of those su souvenir uh, coins. And once you have power, like I already do, but you activate the portal. There's the third portal right there. Just go through that, and you're one step closer to pack a bunch. Up here we have um. Where is it? We got quickies, which is essentially a speakle. It's just sitting right there. And the main point of this area is the power switch right here. So you want to hit this power switch, of course. And um, yeah, we got another mystery box location right there. And right here, this is um where the Volk is. I have the Volk is as well. And there's a Volk Volk wall by right there. And this is the 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 I guess what is it called? I can't even think of the name. The roller coaster boy. So that's the roller coaster right there. I I mean you don't really need to ride the roller coaster. It's more just for fun. I guess getting tickets. But you know if you want to, it's it's always fun to do with your friends. Just go on there. Um, over here, it's just going back to the the middle, I guess. We'll, we'll wrap around. This is right where we came out of. So you know, that's where the the RPR was. So we're gonna go back over here. So all you had to do was just get this portal, activate the portal, and uh, go to spawn. And uh, you're good, fam. So right here, we're gonna go um, take a right right here. We got another Volk wall by again. David Hasselhoff, except he's not there, but you know he sometimes is there. Over here, it's very uneventful, guys. Like I don't know why you'd want to be here. Besides the fact that Double Tap 2.0, aka Bang Bangs, is right there, 2,000 points, really good for uh, a bullet-based weapon. You definitely want to go ahead and buy that if you you want to do that. And over here is the slides. This is just a quick way to escape, I guess. You escape by just going down the slides, and um, you you'll get on here, and um, there you go. So that's essentially um all the places of. Polar Peak. I'm, I'm, I know I missed a few places. I'll go back there in the end just to, I guess, do a full map circle. But um, we're going to answer the third, uh, I guess, area of the map. So we went through Journey to Space. We went through the Polar Peak. Now, moving on to Kepler System, probably the most uneventful, if, if I'm being honest. You know, we're going to take uh, we're gonna take a left here, probably the most important way to go. Uh, you got another one of these, uh, you know, whatever they're called, souvenir places. Like I said, they're everywhere. And you got the, the portal here as well. This is the fourth and final portal. And you just go through there and you will get um tele teleport you back to spawn. But the main importance is up here. This is the power switch. Very, very pointless area up here. Like you get trapped all the time. Besides the fact of the magic wheel and power, it's just a death trap. You know, you get cornered here. There's a barrier right there to fall down and um go down there. We'll go there in a minute. But uh basically it's kind of pointless up here. Once you're up here, you're gonna get stuck. So you get that portal, that'll make you to spawn. This is pretty much nothing here. What is it? What kind of this? We got a we got an HVR wall by right there. If you want to buy that, go ahead. We got some more tickets over there yep um, we got slappy tappy so that's a new perk in this map essentially what it does is it increases your melee damage I wouldn't recommend it but you know I don't know if you want to do a melee only challenge definitely go ahead and get that we got another trap here kind of pointless like I said um, over here absolutely nothing just a little way to jump down right there over here pretty pretty uneventful like I said you know not much just to, just a few I guess barriers 
and um, you can jump down there as well. And we're gonna take the stairs down though, cause we're cool. And you get your PhD flopper right here. I know, guys, Bomb Star was pretty awesome. PhD is clutch. We all know that. So they finally put PhD in this map. It's right there for 1,500 points. You can't dolphin die, but you do not take explosive damage, which is great. You get another E-Rad wall by right there. I have the gun right now, so it's pretty awesome. And right here, guys, the crocodile. I'm going to try to make this zombie not die. So essentially, you go through this crocodile. You got to be wary because he closes his mouth two seconds after you go through it. So literally, watch. Zombie don't die. Zombie don't die. Zombie don't die. Good, good, good. So essentially, guys, you see that. It's really good for, you know, killing trains and stuff. But uh, just be aware of that, guys. You don't want to, you know, fall on that. And this is where we started this area, I guess. You know, this is where we took this left over here. But I'm going to finish the one more area I missed. But, um, you know... This map, it really is, it's confusing at first, I'm not going to lie. It just takes a lot of practice and getting used to, you know, knowing where everything is. So, basically, guys, let me let me, let me me reiterate where I was so you don't get lost, I guess. So, this is where we were. This was the portal inside this room. Um, I'm trying to think what else. This is the roller coaster area. So, essentially, what we did last time, we took a right here. You got double tap over there in that area. And um, we, we, took a, we took a left, I meant. So, I'm going to go down this time. We're going to go down into the underground. So, like I said, we fell down there. The underground area, I wouldn't recommend going. It's very dangerous down here, very close quarters, so I'd just stay up in the open. But, you know, if you ever have to go down here for some reason, you know, here's what it is. So this is the downstairs, the underground of the map. Not much down here, really, but, um, you know, I guess it's just close quarters. Uh, you got a wall by for the Banshee right there. Uh, what else we got down here? I know we got a, a great perk down here. This is really the only reason I go down here is for the perk. The perk Racing Stripes, baby. So essentially, this is stamina up if you guys don't know. Racing Stripes down here for 2,000 points. I get it every single game. It's a great perk. It really is. We got another one of these ticket things. And so, you know, all you really need to know down here is Racing Stripes. Just go ahead and get that and just leave, leave this place as fast as possible because it's a death trap. And I guess right here, we have a little, I guess. So Kepler is where we just came from. You can go to the arcade. Let me, let me, I show you guys how it is. It's very confusing down here. I know that. But um, this is an, an exit to arcade. So essentially, guys, the basement of the map, it connects the entire map. So like I said, guys, this is where Electric Cherry was earlier. I know it's confusing now with this downstairs area. It really is annoying, but you know, this is where Electric Cherry was. Let me like, so bummer cars are right there. We got Arcade right here, and this is where the Electric Cherry was. So let's go back down in the basement, try to, you know, further explain this for you guys. Um, let's go down over here. So we we um, went this way instead towards the Astro Cave, but we don't want to go this way. We want to go back up this way. So that's the way we came through the Kepler. That's where this perk is. Then we just came, we or just now we just came through the Arcade. You're going to go this way, and this way is, you know, another way of connecting the map. And, you know, since we went to, the Astro Cave, the Kepler, where is this one going to take you? That's right, guys. It's going to take you to the area where Juggernaug is. So, you know, this is the same area where the, the portal is, where Juggernaug is over there. And this is where it is right there. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the full walkthrough of basically all the perks where everything is. Um, the one last thing that you guys haven't seen yet is pack a bunch. So you know you've done pack a bunch has been you've done through all four portals, and the, the way you know that you've done a portal is that that light up there is normally yellow, but once you complete the portal, it'll be blue. So you see all four of them are blue. That means I'm pretty good, and that means I can go pack a bunch of my guns. So all you got to do is go up here, you know, uh, go hold X to go into the protection room, and pack a bunch is right here for 5,000 points. I'll pack a bunch of my Volt because why not? And, uh, you know, pack a bunch room, it's, if you play Keener Joe, it's very, very similar. But, you know, you're, you have 30 seconds up here, so don't pack a bunch your gun when it's at 2 seconds because you're going to lose it, of course. But, you know, this is pack a bunch. It's pretty cool. You can leave whenever you want to, and um, I'm going to leave right now just for the sake of time. But, um, yeah, guys, that's my full walkthrough of Zombies in Spaceland. I don't think I missed anything. Um... I feel pretty confident that I went over everything you really need to know. And if I missed just something, um, if, if I missed something in the map, I probably missed it on purpose because, you know, it probably wasn't important. But, you know, this was the full map walkthrough. Hopefully, you guys, you know, could understand it. I know this map is really, really big compared to, you know, the previous zombies maps we had. Um, I'd say just watch the video uh, a few times over but to get the full understanding and how to, I guess, connect and relate with the map. And definitely, once you get your hands on this, this map is really just practice. Getting to know the map, getting to, you know, know places, maneuver around the map. So... You know, it's really just practice. Practice makes perfect, like I always say, guys. But, you know, this has been my full map walkthrough of Zombies in Space Land. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, be sure to pack a bunch of that like button down below. Really, I'd appreciate it. I really, you know, uh, put, a lot of, put a lot of time and effort into recording this video. And, you know, I've, I mean, we, we got to give a thanks here to this zombie right here. He luckily did not die on us. I've tried recording this three times already, and the zombie kept dying. So, luckily, this guy... Shout out to you, my friend, for staying with us. But, guys, like I said, that's going to be the video. Comment down below if I did help you. Wow, he died right now. Of course he died. But for real, guys, comment down below if I did help you out with this guide. Um, if I, you know, if, you, if I need to do anything else, you just let me know. I'll, I mean, honestly, if I have any more important steps, it's on my channel. I try to make videos and, you know, helpful guides each and every day for this map. So just leave a comment down below if you want to see something else. You'll see a video on it. Of course, there's David Hauswoff. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, join the Pack of Bunch Army. Really would appreciate it. I post all the, uh, you know, Infinite Warfare content all the time. So I really, really would appreciate you guys subscribing. But that's going to be the video, the, the full Zombies in Spaceland, full map walkthrough. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And once again, I will see you guys on another video. Peace out.